Today we're going to learn about fractioned word problems. Let's say we have a problem like Alex had $90 less than Tony. Alex spent three-fourths of his money while Tony spent four-fifths of his. Both of them had $207 left together. A. How much did Tony have left? And B. How much did they have all together at first? Now, as you can see in this problem, Alex had $90 less than Tony. So this means that Tony had $90 more than Alex. So this means that Tony, T for Tony, is equal to Alex, A for Alex, plus $90. Now let's draw this out. Let's say that Alex, A for Alex, is equal to this big unit. And let's say, so this means that Tony, T for Tony, is equal to this same unit plus another unit, which is $90. $90. Now, we know that Alex spent three-fourths of his money while Tony spent four-fifths of his. So this means that Alex divided up his money into four pieces. One, two, three, and four. And he spent three of his pieces. So spent, spent, and spent. So he still has this much of his money left. Now we know that Tony spent four-fifths of his money. So he divided up his money into five units. But let's divide up each of these sections of his money into five units. So this section is one unit, two units, three units, four units, and five units. So he's and one unit, two unit, three unit four units and five units. So he spent four of his five units for both of his sections, as you can see. So spent, 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 not spent, 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 and spent, and not spent. And we know that one-fifth of 90 is equal to $18. So this is equal to $18. Now we know that both of them then had $207 left all together. So this means that Alex's unit plus Tony's unit, which is not the same as Alex's unit, so this means that Tony's unit is equal to a box so, unit plus box plus $18 is equal to $207. Is equal to $207. Now, to solve the next part of the problem, we need to have a common unit between Alex and Tony. So let's find the lowest common multiple of 4 and 5. The lowest common multiple of 4 and 5 are the L, C, M of 4 and 5 is equal to 20. So this means that this unit is equal to 5 twentieths and this unit is equal to 4 twentieths. So this means that 5 twentieths or 5 units 
and this is not part of this equation, so 5 units plus 4 units, 5 units plus 4 units plus $18 is equal to $207. So this means that 9 units plus 18 dollars is equal to two hundred seven dollars. So let's get the units on one side and the numbers on the other side. So let's subtract 18 from both sides of this equation. Minus 18 and minus 18. 18 minus 18 cancels out and 207 minus 18 is equal to 207 minus 18 is equal to 189. So 9 units is equal to 9 units is equal to 189 dollars. So unit is equal to 21 dollars. 21 dollars. Now the question is asking for how much did Tony have left? So Tony left, T for Tony, L for left is equal to 4 units plus $18. So 4 units plus $18, which is equal to 4 units, which is equal to 4 times, each unit is equal to $21. So 4 times 21, which is equal to $84 plus $18, which is equal to $102. So this means that Tony had $102 left. So the answer to question A is $102. Now let's solve question B. How much do they have all together at first? Now we know that Alex had 20 units in this amount of money. 20 units. Now we know that Tony had 20 units in this amount of money. So 20 plus 20, which is equal to 40 units, plus $90. So 40 units... plus ninety dollars is equal to is equal to forty times each unit is equal to twenty one which is equal to eight hundred and forty plus ninety which is equal to nine hundred thirty dollars. So the answer to question B is equal to $930. Today we learned about fraction word problems. Thank you for watching this video.